What a birdie putt with a broken ball. You guys should be scared. Take, I'm taking you down. That ain't even a gimme. I'm trying to play your stupid little game, but you've done it. All right, what's the difference between a, a steer and a, and a bull? <laughs> I know the difference. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what just happened, but welcome back to another Steam and Casey Day video. We are out here at Fire Keeper. I, I always say the first word so everybody can understand. Anyways, we are going to be doing a little weird challenge. I, I thought of this idea and I was like, hey, let's try it with some, some bad golfers like me. So basically what we did, we went to the range and found broken golf ball. You see that crack in there? These are usually the ones that get chewed up by the mower. Yeah, they get chewed up by they the mower. They got hit by a mower. All of them are bad. That one is the least bad. This one is terrible. That's the, I don't want that one. Yeah, but we're going to be doing 1v1, four holes. I actually have a chance because I'm good at golf. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you're old, hit the subscribe button. Almost at 100,000 subscribers. That is a lie. Subscribing is not an option because that's just how it goes when you- Literally not. Subscribe because there's no option. You should say not subscribing is not an option. Not subscribing is not an option. Anyways, like 60% of you aren't even subscribed. So thanks for watching. Three balls, three thousand likes. Hey, I yeah, like it. Hey, anyways, if you ball. see Roback, go ahead, link will be in the description if you want 15% off. There's a link now, there's no more codes, unfortunately. But when you get to the end of the purchase, the code, like if you use Steven's link, will have horse 15 at the end. Automatically sure. puts Automatically it Automatically puts it at the end. Going at? through the link. It's yeah. GM. LOL. So go, head over to GM Golf, find the, find the link, in, link in the description, and you'll be able to find it there. But, Okay, whatever. Don't so, do anyway, that. We this don't necessarily have a way to determine what ball you use, so I'm just going to kind of mix them up and throw them in the air, whichever lands closest to you. That's what you got to use. All right. Gosh, I don't like this at all. I get the yes! worst yes! ball! I get the least! I get the worst! No, this is the least. Are you sure? Oh, this has actually got a giant crack in it right <laughs> Steve, here. Holy that's, crap. that's great. This I got screwed. Down. We're going to see how they react. I just wanted to try this just for fun because I've always... I mean, I play with range balls, so what's, what's the difference between hitting one with a bunch of cracks in it? Yeah! Hit by a mower. Grab me that... Two iron, a, a 270 dog leg left. Honestly, I think the green's just over there, but I'm just gonna cut it right over the top. Matt, what are you playing on? I got a nice five iron. I'm just gonna, hopefully this is in play. I don't know if it's gonna go left or right. That's where my issue is. If we lose the ball, we don't have another one to replace it. No, so don't lose it. If you lose it, are you out? Yeah, if you lose it, you're out. <laughs> No, it didn't hit anything. You might be good. All right, so after seeing that, I'm going to be a little more safe, and I'm going to go right at the left edge, right edge of that the bunker. That was so pure. That was so pure. But Tig doesn't know it's right and left still. If that's all you wanted to get an update from, go ahead and leave the video now. Yeah, and Tig doesn't... doesn't His ball is not even cracked like at all. No, it is. It's moving quite weird, but you just cut that corner perfectly. Guys, I might have just be... I might be done in the challenge. Frick. That's good. That's really good. No that fairway. Is, that's that's really incredible. Good. I was not expecting the ball to do that. I'll give you all a little tip on these balls, okay? So when you're playing with cracked balls, this is what you gotta do. You wanna have less spin because the more that ball spins as it's cracked, it picks up more air. So you, so that would cause it to go a lot of different directions. So you gotta swing smoother, less spin. It's gonna go straighter as we've seen from Steve. All right, here is where I landed a little, I kind of cut the corner and then takes way up there. Matt, unfortunately, didn't find his ball. We actually I mean, have one more broken ball, so he's gonna be using that. Gonna drop a little farther back. I mean, he's getting lucky. I didn't, I didn't think I had an extra one, but we do. So he literally would have been out of the challenge and would have been a one v one, which not about the one v one versus Tig. All right, here's where he took his drop at. The green once again is off to the left. I'm gonna have a hard time hitting it. I'm guessing like 150. It's a dead straight ball. Oh, I cut it instead of drew it. Yeah, just in, just a little I short. Thought. This is a par four, so we're good. How far do you think I am? It says on the thing, 150. There's a creek up there, remember. Steve with the smooth seven. Uh, did I get over? Yeah, on the green. What a birdie putt with a broken ball. You guys should be scared. Take, I'm taking you down. Ah. Oh, the putting. How is that gonna oh, work? Oh yeah, your putting is gonna be astronomically different. He's like, I'm so bad that I'm good sometimes. Anyways, here's where Tig is at. As you can see, I got a nice little birdie putt at probably like 15 feet. Tig's gonna be testing the airflow. I gotta get a little sand wedge. I got about 113 yards. I think it's a little downwind, so I'm gonna play it at about 110. That sounds terrible. I just gotta go. Ball sounds so broke. All right, we're both birdie putt. I'm just a little inside of him. I hit that really well. I just didn't hit it hard enough. 
Yeah, every time he hits the ball, it literally sounds like something snapping. Here's where Matt is at. He's got to get up and down for bogey. Me and Tig threw a couple good shots in there. It's hard to control this ball is what I'm realizing. Ah, I didn't keep it upright. Your ball doesn't react stay, very, stay, stay. very different. Thanks. Here's what we're looking at. I'm about 15 feet. Tig's about 17, 18. Matt's about 25. This so stuff gets interesting here. Well, I don't think the balls are going to go straight. That's the only issue you're dealing with. Oh my gosh, it took a straight jump right. Love that. All right, I'm gonna take, why are you taking your pants off? I'm not. Just Whoa! Right, kind of strange, kind of weird, but that's just him. Anyways, here's what Tiggy's looking at. Straight uphill, a little bit of a breaking to the left, and then it breaks back to the right. No way, no way. That's pretty much a tap in for his par. He's doing the double triple step. He is a little fidgety on the ball and then bang, he just tapped in for par. How do you feel for your double? Shut up. Smell like horse lips? Yeah, it does. It does. This is where Steven needs to dial in his game because if he doesn't, this is when yaya -ya sauce happens. I don't know which way it's gonna break with the ball. Um, yeah. Well, that's that, not a gimme, folks. That's not a good ball. And it didn't oh break it my, no. It didn't break at all. It didn't break. That's a bogey because the ball doesn't listen. Yeah, just laugh, Matt. I will laugh. I will laugh. What'd you make? Double, baby! Anyways, we have three holes left. It's going. Tig is first. I'm second. Matt is third. Anything can happen. Hopefully, you don't have a long hole. I also want to play a part three to make this challenge a little more interesting. All right, here we are playing the front tees for our second hole. A par five, 467 yards. You can see the flag stick kind of waving around down there. I want to be taking it straight at it. Yeah, it's a driver, I think. Maybe. All right, Steve, now. <laughs> you can't do much better than that. That's pretty good, Steve. I thought it was going to slap straight left, yeah. but it didn't. It took a Drake right, right in turn. Bradley, how you doing? Just a little, see if I can hit a little baby fade. Yeah, a little baby fade in there. Watch out for that pole. Gosh, that sounds so bad, but you ripped the crap out of it. I feel like I got screwed with the golf ball. Yeah, I feel like I got screwed because I was a guinea pig. Because I didn't know how the ball was going to react, so I had like hit smooth. And yeah, but you like, have with the <laughs> Exactly. You have the best golf ball now because that one's just barely cracked. Well, yeah, now. Watch him duck hook it anyways. Ooh, I said that in the poor backswing. This is one thing you hate. If you ever play him in a tournament, just talk to him. I hate you. I really do. You piece of shit. Moment of silence. That's pretty psychological. That's some psychological power. I don't know what I'm saying. It wasn't It wasn't a duck hook like I said. It was a snap hook. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. What? All right, Matt found his ball in the absolute dog trash. He's going to be taking, once again, another drop. As you know, the flagpole is way down there. Let's get a yardage real quick. 385. Nice pure shot. Yeah, it's a nice little draw up there. That'll roll, son. I hit that so good. That'll roll. One of the weeds, two drop hitting three, three up there, chipping for my four. We can still make par. All right, and Steven has landed in the fairway, so good for him. I thought he was in the rough. He can now hit two hybrid off the deck here, and it sounds like a <laughs> whistle, so. I'm advancing the ball pretty good. Yeah, you are, Steve. You're actually moving the thing around. Tig, understand this. My ball is the worst ball out of all of us. He's right about that, guys. Yeah, he is, and he's actually hitting it better. All right, here is Tig's first little shot you pushed her out here i hit it pretty well i got 198 yards i'm trying to figure out if i should go for it or not doesn't i don't know what this green looks like so that means i'm gonna go for it you went right at the freaking that's pin that's gotta sit sit that's not good that is way long we don't know what's over there uh oh might have another lost ball folks so wait if you both tap out i win listen to this i went to a store that's like five minutes from the farm and there was Tic Tacs for 25 cents, those packs. How many did you get? I got 10. Ate them all that night. Look. Bro! <laughs> uh, I got 188. I still can't reach the green, so I'm just going to smack it up there. Freak, that ball is so bad. That's good. That came back left. <laughs> Here's where Matt landed. He still can make it on the green and make a par, which he is sitting at about, about 130 for the center of the green. It's the ball. Looks so good it looks camera. so good, but the ball has like not the ball's it. like deformed. It's not catching the air. <laughs> All I know is the more I hit my ball, the more it deteriorates into nothingness. Alright, I can make a par. I, I just gotta put this real close. How far am I? 77 yards. 
77 yards. So I'm gonna... All right, a little 56 for Steve. I don't know why I thought I could get 56 there. Since my ball's cracked so bad. Oh. How do I catch it so thin good when I don't want to? All right, we're gonna go ahead and record take first. He's got a nice little chip. This is for his up and down for a... For birdie. This for is birdie. my eagle chip. I just coasted on by. That is very unfortunate, guys. All right, we got Matt just off the green. Needs to get up and down for a bogey. Sit. Gosh, dang. Matt is literally golfing on a different planet right now. The gravity is a little... A different gravitational pull. Only with your ball, though. That's right. Only with my ball, unfortunately. It's a great game, you know? In life, it's going to pick you up, and it's literally going to slam you down to the ground. But other than that, I'm having a great day, you know? Can't complain, because nobody listens. Steven literally got a rip on this one, and now he has to try and chip this on the green. Whoa! Back in the weeds! That's okay. I'm falling to pieces. I still can get up and down for both. <sighs> this is where he has landed. That's going from weeds to weeds. Nice. Nice down. That is, I will take that all day. The ball's literally bouncing. Here is Matt. He's got to get up and down for a double just like me. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, literally, don't say anything. We got to take for birdie, though. This will be your second part in a row. Like I said, this is going to be his second par in a row. Chris? That is no car. I'm going to keep it right inside my ball. Hit it! I'm five on? over right now. saying wow. That ain't even a gimme. I feel bad for the ball you're putting with. You want to trade balls? Should we, mix, should we mix it up on the last hole? Last two? I'll take Matt's, you take his, and then Matt takes that. Let's do it. Oh That's a quad, boys. Anyways, that is a quad. I am at five over. Yes! Yes! Bogey! He's one over. You are five. You're five. Me and Matt are tied. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. This is us just messing around on a nice golf course. You know the vibes. Why don't you guys do challenges? No. Why don't you guys use broken balls on a really nice, the number one golf course in Kansas? How about that? Oh, I forgot, this is the number one golf course in Kansas. We're literally, in my video, about to play with the two-foot club. Yeah. Like, why play with regular clubs? I know, honestly, it's just hard going to nice golf courses and, like, breaking the course record every time. I get tired of it. Yeah, I get tired of being the best. Here is the part that we're going to be playing. 160 to the middle. I'm switching with Matt. So, Matt, give me your ball. Mitch Tig is going to be taking the worst ball. And then and then here, Tig. Free me an 8-iron, Matt. I don't think ripping it off would do you good. How bad does it react, Tig? Can I get air in there? No. It's just like water. Yeah, that one's not bad at all. Eight iron in hand. <laughs> you think you're funny? I don't know if Tig did on purpose or he just wanted to wreck Matt. He did, because I hit that deece. Right now, Tig with the so messed up of a ball, it goes directly right turn. Might even take a left turn depending on how you catch it. Oh my. How did you hit that? How did you hit that? Hey, I got it over. That's all I really care about. It went right and then took a direct <laughs> left turn. It did a slice draw. It was a slaw. <laughs> See this? Like... It was a slaw. Aww. All right. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. What a great shot. That ball is surprisingly this far. It might be OB. I think I can car path. Just keep losing all of them. I don't think we have another one. Man, minus 22, you know, I'll tell you what. Anyways, we're going to switch the rules around because we want to all play and finish. I lost my broken ball, so we're going to just drop it. This is arch. So someone is going to be playing with a regular ball. So I got to get this up and down for bogey. That looks good. That looks like really good. Like really good. Like really good. Like steer. Okay, maybe it's unfair because I got to Yeah, it might be, but you still literally went OB. So technically, you're make, literally going to make that for bogey. Oh, sorry. I can't see Mike away over there. There's a little pin. <laughs> Starting to come backwards. We did a full circle. <laughs> okay, when you say tap it in though, can you literally do what you mean? Plus seven through three freaking holes. Gosh, I hate this. Tig's gonna have a hard time playing. That's what I know. That's for his par. He's probably gonna be making a triple. Like like I said, you're not what not the best. Did he, did he I already made my double. The chances of him making this for par. 
pretty slim. It goes ahead and hits. Like I said, that's just that's for bogey. That's just not gonna do it, to be honest. Matt. I mean, you can't do that. You can't do <laughs> it. Give me. Why? Oh, you made a bogey. This is a must make here. You wanna miss this? Yes, you do. Yes, oh you god. do. Oh my god. For double bogey. Double a bogey. A potential miss and going up to four over. Let's go! Oh my god. Let's go! Oh now. my gosh. Let's go. If he misses this, he'll be five over. Tig, you better dial in. Hit it soft. I am hitting perfect. Lay it up a little bit, son. <laughs> no, no, no. Lay it no. up. Lay it up. For god. six over. If he misses this, I'm tied with Tig. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. This wait, wait, wait. 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 You are in last place, Tig. <laughs> Tap it so light that you miss so you can just touch it in. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Oh my no! Bro, I know. Tig, if you miss this, I will give you a thousand dollars. Yes. That's nine over. <laughs> Matt, you're using this ball next. Yeah, Matt gets Matt gets that. Tig gets mine. Anyways, Tig is in last place. I have a two-stroke lead on him. Matt, I can win this challenge. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I take this. What he ate? He, I, we don't know what he did, but he put it a lot on that hole. That's what I was dealing with. I know hole. We're gonna finish on a par three. Tig gets. It has no damage. The ball has zero damage. Oh, I mean, it's a trash ball. I get a little cracked of ball, and Matt gets the absolute trash hole. Bring me a six. It's gonna hit a little 52 degree. It's 122 yards. This is where I can capitalize because you never know what's gonna happen with Matt and that ball because it basically has. If you imagine a ball that has a mind of its own, it'll go left or right and not even tell you. I know. And take those a freaking dart. Be a hole in one. 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 Not a hole in one. Be a hole in one. You need to take a chill pill. It's time to just. Okay, I'm chilling. If I make a bogey, we tie. You're not gonna make bogey. You're, you're not Take this saying. way or that way? This way. All right, aim. Four, Matt. You got your all left. the space over here. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh! I'm on the- Back side of the green. What was that? Doesn't matter. Give me this. Hold this. Do something. Victory. That was the play, just to hit it hard, because obviously it just kind of flew out to the right. I'm in for par. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I hitting a sit- Why- Bye That's bye. what I thought. He has 122 yards and this man has a six iron. Like, I know he's not a good... <laughs> hey. But I'm gonna full swing a P-Wedge. There's no way you're gonna get that there. It's gonna be center of the green. It's a good shot. Center center ball, ball. Ball. Okay, he has a 150 foot putt. Gosh! Gosh! I can't believe I hit the green. Can you believe that? No. Can you fans believe it? No, you can't. Shoot! Shoot, man. Shoot, man, I'm Tig. I like to freaking ride cattle. Oh my gosh, here's where I'm at. Nice long, Matt, you're gonna have to record it. Matt, you're gonna have, Matt, you're gonna, Matt, you're. Anyways, I have a really long putt. I better I'm... move my putter, Steve. Are you gonna hit it? No. I seriously can't wait for Matt to uh, hit that. It's insane. I had to fix Steve's divot because he still learned how to do that, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. I'm taking him to uh, divot fixing school later. Okay. Can you hit it? Steve, you gotta Please? hit that. What do you mean? Okay, he got it halfway there, okay? You're a funny guy because I'm still going to make that par. Just sit back and get ready for the show to start with Matt. With his... Let's go! That's Look, a trust me, par! Trust me, I am not even worried about that. All right, you guys, they're confused as the, as the, just shut up, I'm making that par and they're going to be very, Micah will be mad. That's a good looking putt there, Steve. Ah! That's for my bogue. Honestly, that's all I really need. Cause if Tig two putts, it'd be alright. Anyways. Anyways, Tig now. Yes! Yes, I knew we left it short. I don't know why, but I knew. Micah finished with a plus eight or seven. We're still not sure. Matt, this is for your par. Three putt and you're good. Oh, I went straight right. <laughs> oh crap. Oh crap. Here's where his bow. went straight right? <laughs> Can this please go in? I just really want to piss Tig off. 
<laughs> hey, but this is a gimme, though. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This could be a gimme. Yes! You're in for triple. Double. So you finished at six, seven, eight. I finished at eight. Freak. I was about to say. Oh, we're all tied. Made both. We're all tied. Closest to the pin or we got to make the ball? No, we got to make it because closest right. to the pin is just, that's not fair. Here, here. Then we'll, so we'll let's, let's put a tee in the ground. You yeah. pick a spot. We're going to be doing a t putting contest. Let's do it from right on the rear. Let's do it on Because we literally all just tied. So this is where we're going from. That's where we're going from. We're just going to put it okay, and see. Let's see goes first. Frick. Mass Man. first. Oh my. What a pure roll. <laughs> Go mark it. Throw it back to me. You're not going to putt like that again. See? What? <laughs> what? Okay, he's got a five footer. <laughs> See? All right, guys, so that was the play. It seems to always go too hard to the right. So, Steve, probably going to do kind of what I did. Wow. You guys are good. Just behind the pin, probably about what I have. <laughs> oh my gosh. All I'm going to say is, uh, yeah. There you go. Okay. There's no give me. There you go. Frick. What a good. <laughs> oh, it went oh. the opposite way this time. Oh. <laughs> I just, I mean, tap that in if you want, but. I'm going to pray for the same thing last I did last time. It went straight. Bro, that's going to. Yeah, yeah. Black. Oh, my God. I had to figure something out there. I don't want another putting contest. If Tig misses this, he's out. Let's go! Okay, okay. Get him out! Tig has lost the match. Last place. Steven, you can now get second place. Or tie me and we have to figure something out. Oh. Now what do we do? Tig records and we do one more round. Look at that, staying straight now. Unpredictable. Why are you going straight at it? What? You can't be serious. Yes. And that took a left turn at the end. Guys, this ball is so crazy to putt with. And he was wrong about whichever side the flap is on. That's which way it goes because it went the exact opposite way. I think it just goes whichever way it well pleases. Matty, Matt here. Matty. For number two. This is to win the match. All right, no that gimme. was not That's no gimme. Steve makes this. He's just really good. I can just tell. Maddie for you. <laughs> Anywho, you know that, you know that. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Matt ended up getting the dub on a putting contest. If you want something, to, uh, we might do the Medicus. If you want us to do a Medicus, because that's what we have right now, we can try that maybe in a couple days. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed. What do you guys have to say about this? It's a fun challenge, and Dude, it came I, down to greatest. <sighs> It came down, for me, it came down to that the second to last hole. I mean, I just fell apart on the green. I kind of look like um, somebody who one time put it like six times on a green in a tournament and then they lost the tournament, so that's kind of like, wow. <laughs> on the first hole and the second hole, he put with that and we didn't, like, we didn't even notice how bad it was.